All right, Christian, let's start you outside this morning in Davidsonville, where we do have some clouds, but we also do have a little bit of sunshine out there as well. As we go through the day, we will have a little bit of everything. We have the heat, the humidity, but we also do have some spotty showers already happening across the area, and we could see some more as we head more towards the afternoon. So we'll start you out in Columbia around Pine Orchard. You can see some heavier rain trying to come in across the area there. More of the same around Elk Ridge, Waterloo, and just to the north of Savage this morning. Zoom in a little bit more. Pfeiffer's Corners dealing with some of the moderate rain coming in just to the east, north and east of Wesley Grove this morning. And then we slide back off towards West Friendship just past you, but Glen L, Dayton, Ivory all getting in on some light rain showers there. And lastly, if you're headed up towards uh, Mount Airy, dealing with some heavy rain coming in across the area, even around Woodville. So uh, widening out the view if you're doing some traveling for today, if you're traveling back off to the south, you will be running into some wet weather there. But that's where our next weather maker is as we head into next week. So we will have some heavier rain coming in here as we head towards Monday. But for today, we'll continue to watch this front that's to the north of us. This will continue to sag on to the south, a cold front. And with that, we will feel the effects tomorrow of it, not today. So the muggy meter is going to be up there today. So we are going to be dealing with plenty of humidity dew points. The measure of the moisture in the atmosphere is up there once again for today. We felt it yesterday and what saved us from the severe weather, which I talked about all morning long, the clouds finally won out over the sun and that does put a smile on my face because we didn't have any severe weather. Check out the temperatures this morning as we do have these numbers in the 70s, the upper 60s all across the board this morning, except for Deep Creek. So if you head over towards the mountains there, temperature a little bit cooler, but still well above average even for the mountains. The future cast goes into motion, picking up one more isolated uh, scattered showers coming through the area as we head towards the afternoon time frame. All in all, though, we will be much drier as we head into the weekend, all courtesy of a blocking high pressure that's going to hold that front off to the south. South, and that's will be the focal point of the rain for the weekend. But in the meantime, there's your seven day forecast and not looking too bad. Let's go check the traffic with Lauren. There's a breaking traffic.